a bottle smashes and a ship gets its name. Danish and European officials gathered on Thursday for a ceremony that goes back to Viking times, but one that could now put modern vessels into battle against climate change. By successfully decarbonizing shipping, we're not only promoting our fight against climate change, we're also creating new supply chains, new industries and thousands of new good jobs. The ship, owned by Danish cargo giant Maersk, is set to emit 100 tonnes of carbon dioxide less per day than a diesel one. It runs on green methanol, produced from decomposed organic waste. 120 more vessels are now in the pipeline from other companies. Green methanol has been around for a long time, but it isn't cheap. The Danish state hopes that by commissioning vessels powered by methanol, it will kickstart production, lower prices and begin to challenge the dominance of fossil fuels. Ole Jon Nielsen has a share in a Nobel Peace Prize thanks to his work with the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. He believes methanol can fulfil the ambition to reduce shipping emissions by more than 60%. But that will need sources more diverse than Maersk's suppliers in the Netherlands. Fossil fuel is a hydrocarbon. Methanol is also a hydrocarbon. It's a small molecule. The thing is that you can make green methanol in different ways uh, in the Middle East. You've got a lot of sun and a lot of areas for solar panels, so why not produce green methanol in the Middle East where all the ships are sailing around anyway? Environmental campaigners still say a key way to reduce emissions is to reduce dependence on fuel-burning transport like ships and cars. But as the United Nations targets net zero emissions in the shipping industry by 2050, green methanol is being welcomed. It is a big step forward compared to where the sector has been and has been stocked for, for many years with fossil fuels. But this isn't an example of greenwashing. I don't think so because if you look at what can shipping uh, do today, there is really no better solution for, for big uh, cargo ships. With scientists warning of a tipping point in how much pollution the planet can handle, building on the early promise of methanol could have a deadly urgency. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Copenhagen. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.